And now it's time for us to greet a very special guest. Here is a gentleman who is a fine actor, equally at home as a leading man, or as a comedian, or as a character actor. Here is Mr. Keenan Wynn. Would you tell, now here we are speaking from New York, and it is yeah. uh, 10 minutes of 10 our time. What did you do this morning in Los Angeles? This morning, I took my little girls to school. That's in Santa Monica. Got on the plane, and here I am. It's wonderful. Jet fuel. Bang, you're there. Got in, had his suit pressed, and here he is. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, what's your secret tonight, Jim? Well, Gary, I, I didn't want to do a secret. I've got a kind of a different idea. And oh. if you don't mind, I'd like to pull it. We all know how talented versatile talents these people possess. And They're I versatile, just, all right. Well, I have an idea that would kind of bring out another facet. Well, what facet of their many talents are you going to show tonight? Dramatic acting. Okay. Dramatic acting? Yeah, do, yeah. You, do you have a, a sketch, a I, scene? I have a very dramatic scene here, and uh, there's parts for everybody. Oh, the six of us, huh? The six of us, all of us, we're all in them. Oh, good, you got six parts then, six scripts? No, I only have five scripts. Well, then somebody is going to be right. without a script. One will be without a script. And the idea is that those of us who have the scripts, we read the, you know, we read the scene. When the cue comes for the person who doesn't have the script, they must do their best to keep in the plot. Oh, and I... we, in turn, must actually read what we have. So, in other words, those of us who have scripts must stick to the word. Right. The person who doesn't have it, the unfortunate person who won't right. have a script, right. has to stay within the plot. You've got it. All right. So who is the unfortunate person? <laughs> now don't anybody move until we set the scene. Yeah, fine. Now open the curtain, please. Oh. Open now the this curtain, here. Please. Oh wait, no wait, no wait. This is a nightclub. <clears throat> see, and Beth and Bill, you two, you're a married couple, see, oh, really? and you're you're celebrating your uh, anniversary. Yeah, you're over here. Wedding anniversary. You're over here, Bill. Get on this side. Here, now you have. Here, your best. There's your script. Remember, only read what you're supposed to read. All right, dear. Now, what about Henry Morgan? What part does he play? Henry, you're a waiter. <laughs> now, look, you go off, put on your costume, and don't come in until you get your cue, right? Now, what have you saved for our dear Betsy? Oh, Betsy, come on, darling. You're, you're an entertainer in this nightclub, so you sing. But right now... It's in between, you know, in between numbers, and you're waiting for your boyfriend. Yeah. You sit next to Bill right here. Uh, good. Now, what part do I... Uh, uh, what, she has no script. No, she's got no... All right, what, what, what part do I play? You are the master of ceremonies. Oh, not again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, here, here. Right. Now, go on stage and wait until it's time for... Here, take well, this with you, too. Before I go, what part do you play? <clears throat> you're my boyfriend. That's right, kid. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Oh, and you ready? Yes. Entrance. Darling, I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been waiting long? Oh, no, no. I just finished my number. Well, that was unavoidable. <laughs> Some last-minute work at the office. How did the audience like your new number in the first show? Oh, they loved it. It was just a smashing success. That's too bad. <laughs> but I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure you would have done better if you weren't so jumpy. That's Why are you so nervous tonight? Well, I forgot to take my Milltown before I started singing. Well, try to settle down and stop biting your fingernails. Uh, uh, oh, and what you need is a drink to relax you. I will call the waiter. Waiter! My hands are hands are as soft as hers. <laughs> good evening. Would you like to order now? Yes, I'd like a scotch on the rocks, please. Very good, sir. Mm. How about you, miss? Would you like something to drink? I think a glass of milk would be nice. Yes, miss. A triple martini, heavy on the gin, easy on the vermouth, coming right up. No, no. <laughs> Sweetheart, we have only... <laughs> Sweetheart, we only have a few minutes before the show starts. Let's talk about us. All right. You've had two weeks to think it over, and I've tried to be patient, but now I must know. What is your decision? I'm afraid I have to say no. That's no answer. <laughs> You're being evasive. No, I'm not. And tears won't help you. Stop crying. 
You're making a scene. Everybody is looking at you. Why are you crying? It's because you're talking so loud. Oh. <laughs> exactly what did your mother say when you told her about us? I don't understand this whole thing. She sent you to bed without your dinner? <laughs> well, I don't think that's very funny to you. No. Well, then why are they laughing so hard? Well, you stop that laughing, and I can't stand it the way you change your mind from minute to minute. What time is it? It's about half past five. Nine o'clock. Good heavens. I'll get it for a while. I'll be right back. What is this? <laughs> Say, Blondie. Yes? Don't I, don't I know you from somewhere? Yes. I'm your sister. Sorry with me. Oh. <laughs> well, you don't have to get nasty about it. You, you little, you little fit fire, you. I, I'm actually just trying to be friendly. How's about a little kiss? If I'm your sister, we don't do that. <laughs> it's all right. I'm wearing my brother's glasses. <laughs> Oh, yeah, embrace you. Yeah, you embrace me? Yes. Oh, that's nice. What is uh, it? I don't Palmer. have to tell you. Palmer, you'll have yes. to forgive my husband, Miss Palmer. You see, this, this is our 50th... What a part! <laughs> you'll have to forgive my husband, Miss Palmer. Well, this is... <laughs> This is our 50th wedding anniversary, and uh, he, he's just not used to all this celebrating, you see? Your 50th. You're well-preserved, both of you. <laughs> uh, I, I hate to impose upon you, Miss Palmer, yes. but, but would you mind giving me your autograph not for one all. of our grandchildren? They're just crazy about you. <laughs> oh? Oh, I'm sorry it was so long, dress. sweetheart, yes. but uh, I asked the MC to start the show, not to start it until I got back. I didn't want to miss your act. Yes. He's going to start the show now. Funny thing happened to me on the way to the theater tonight. I saw a man fall out of a 10th floor window and there was a big crowd around him on the sidewalk. I went over to him and I leaned over to ask him what happened. He said, I don't know, I just got here myself. <laughs> but seriously, folks, <laughs> I would now like to present the star attraction of our floor show, the three dancing wizards. Tonight, by popular demand, they're going to do their famous precision routine for us. You'll be amazed at the way they perform every little movement in exact unison. So here they are, the three dancing wizards, George Foster, George Reeder, and Betsy Palmer. <laughs> Keenan Wynn for giving you this opportunity. Yes, Keenan, I do. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. And I hope 1960 brings you everything you deserve. <laughs> well, I, uh, well, we got to knock it off. Thanks, thanks, George Reader. Thanks, yeah. George Foster from our Tuesday night show. See you next week. Oh,